Hey guys, right here we're afternoon hunting and we just found one of the coolest snakes you're ever going to see in your entire life. This is called the Western Hook Nose Snake. Let me see if I can get them out for you. Watch it there, buddy. And these guys deploy a unique defense. If you listen, let's see if he'll do it. Oh, did you hear it? That's a popping sound. And what he does is he pops his cloaca and uh, that's where he submits poop, musk, and pee. And so by that popping sound, since this dude's so small, he really doesn't have any way to defend himself like biting or attacking or a real furious defensive display. So he just makes that popping sound. And while it's not too loud, it is enough to kind of make an animal be like, what the heck is that noise? And why is this dude making it? And it gives them just enough time that they need to escape. You can see why they call these fellas hook nose. They actually have a nose just like that of a hog nose snake. Let me see if I can turn them brown for you. Oh, he's still making that popping sound. So he's got a nose that's upturned just like a hognose snake. And what he does is he uses that to uproot the soil where his main prey usually sits. So he feeds mainly on spiders, scorpions, and centipedes. So this dude is a big time arachnid and a bug eater pretty much. Cute, cute little face on him though. You guys know me, I love hognose snakes. So any snake with a little upturned snout, they always look like they're grinning. And that snout works just like a shovel. They'll just take it and they'll push it in the soil and then uproot. And these guys are primarily nocturnal and they're found typically only after a good rain. We found this fellow underneath this dead cactus and you can occasionally find him under there after rain too as well, which we've been having rain almost this entire week. You can see him, he's probably about maybe 11, 12 inches long, fully stretched out. And this is about what they limit out to. The record is somewhere around 17 inches, but they commonly don't get any bigger than this. So they're relatively uh, small statured snakes, but absolutely gorgeous very very cute you can see what makes them stand out is these uh brown kind of bands going across them but the bands don't completely encompass the snake they kind of ridge it out and ridge on the side and then he's got a few brown markings on his head and then he's got this nice sandy ground color so he blends in great to this dirt out here he's perfectly adapted for this desert living so we're going to let this fella go praise god for the hook nose snake this is a kind of a rare snake to find they're not commonly found and uh, i'm absolutely in love with him he is a cute little guy so we're gonna let him go back on his way. See you later there, buddy.